Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza. In today's video, we are going to be trying out the Morphe by James Charles palette. So as soon as this launched, I actually went ahead and purchased it. So mine came in the mail yesterday. Um, so I am going to be trying this out for the first time. It'll be kind of like a first impressions video as well as kind of like a tutorial. So I just took it out of the bubble wrap and this is what it looks like. It is really nice. Um, you guys already saw the front and I'm sure you guys have already seen it as well. But this is what the palette looks like. I think it's really, really nice. It just says James Charles here. And this is what the palette looks like if you open it up. Um, all the names are on this little card here, this little plastic piece that just covers all of the shadows. They all look really, really pigmented. I did see all the swatches that James Charles did on his Instagram as well as on um, YouTube itself. So if you guys have not already watched that video, I suggest you guys go watch that. I did kind of want to swatch some of these um, eyeshadows just because James Charles skin color is a little bit different than mine mine's a little bit darker um, so I just kind of wanted to see what those shadows would look like on my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of the shades I know that canvas is like the first shade here um, he swatched it and you can like barely see it on his skin obviously it's because he's really light but um, I'm gonna try that on my skin and kind of see what that looks like okay so Okay, so you can kind of see it better on my skin than um, his. It's also not that visible, but that's what it looks like. I think it's really nice. I'm also very interested in swatching So Good and Spooky, which is uh, So Good as this gold shade here, and then the black shade in the palette, just to kind of see how pigmented those are. So, So Good. I'm going to dip into that, and I'm also dipping into the black. And that's what they look like you can kind of hardly see the gold one but you can you can still see it a little bit and then here's the black one I did only dip into it once so that's what those look like so as you guys can tell I don't have any eyeshadow on or lipstick actually but um, as far as eyeshadows obviously I'm using the James Charles palette and I also did buy the eyelid primer by Morphe the one that James Charles suggests we use with it um, this is just in translucent it says here I did also buy the setting mist and I bought the Morphe sponge which I can't even find it right now but anyways I already did my makeup pretty much for the most part um, I'm just like I said doing my eyeshadow so I am gonna go ahead and prime my lids using this primer don't really know how much I'm supposed to use I honestly never this is the first time that I've bought this primer but I never really use an eye eyelid primer I only prime with either like concealer or just even a um foundation alone so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes i do really want to give the james charles palette like a fair like maybe like review or shot so i am just putting this on and i'm just gonna blend that all out with the morphe sponge i'm just gonna kind of let that dry okay so i decided that for eyeshadow like for the eyeshadow look that i'm going for i'm actually going to be trying to recreate this look it's not, I mean, I'm just going to be inspired by it because I know it's not going to come out the exact same. I'm no way a professional or anything like that, but this is the eye look that I kind of want to create. I don't even really know if you guys can see that. So there's like basically browns on the outside and then there's like gold in the middle and then kind of like a whiter shade and then it kind of has like reddish purplish as a transition color so i'm going to be using the morphe m513 brush i'm going to be starting with this color here which is the color punch me and i am just taking this pretty much as a transition shade so i'm just putting this kind of like on the crease here well not really on the crease kind of like in the upper area but on the outer area so everything i do to one side i'm just going to be doing to the other so i will be cutting out the pieces and kind of just showing you guys one eye so it doesn't take really long okay so the next color i'm going to be taking is 10 percent off which is this shade here and i'm just going to be using the same brush basically throughout this whole look except like the part where i apply gold and the transition color um i feel like this kind of helps me blend the colors easier so that color will almost be in the same spot so i do also kind of want to wing it out not too much but just kind of like helps elongate my eye a little bit 
Okay, so the next color I'm going to be using is No Beans. And by the way, you guys, I love the names that he picked for the palette. And I'm just blending that shade with the 10% off shade. So I'm kind of dragging that a little bit toward the center of my lid. Not too much, only with like what's left on the, on the brush. Because I feel like it's already pretty much all gone. Okay, so to darken that out a little tiny bit, I'm going to be taking the color Benny here. I just dipped into that once, and this is how pigmented it is. I'm just taking that in the same spot as the other color, being very, very careful because I don't want too much fallout. So that is pretty much it for the outer part. Um, I'm going to be taking another brush, just a clean brush. And this is the MB23 brush by Morphe. And I'm just going to be taking that brush to kind of blend everything out. You guys, I think these shades are so pigmented and so nice. I feel like he did such an amazing job. Okay, so I am going to be putting the gold on my eye now. And I'm actually going to be using uh two shades which the first one is this one here which is so good and this other shade here which is called ring light so they're just like that first one that i that i showed you guys is just basically all gold and then the second one's kind of more like of a white gold so i'm going to use that more on the inner part of my eye and for this part i'm just taking a flat brush my brush is all stained just any flat brush i think will do the job um what i'm going to do is just kind of pat my brush into the eyeshadow a little bit and then start by placing that on my eye so i'm not gonna lie i feel like this shadow is a little bit too light um i do really like the color but i just feel like it's a little light i think i just have to pack more color on there so i can get like the color payoff that i actually want so that's what i'm doing i'm just adding a bunch of layers this is probably like the fourth layer now so this, it's kind of starting to look the way I want it to now. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. Okay, so taking the same brush, I'm going to dip into the second color that I mentioned to you guys. And this color I'm just placing right on the inner part of my eyelid and kind of blending that toward the first color. Okay, so for my pop of color and kind of like my transition shade, I'm just taking this one here which is love that okay so i dipped into that like twice with just any brush here and i'm just going to be placing that between the gold and the browns wow that's super super pigmented okay so now i'm just going back in really quickly with my gold shade and placing that right next to the other shadow kind of blending those a little bit together just kind of moving it back and forth kind of blends on its own i feel like basically i feel like the um eyeshadow is complete but i still really want to blend this out because i don't want it to be like any harsh lines i feel like right here it's not really blended and on camera it looks worse than in person so i'm just taking that same brush that i showed you guys earlier and I'm going to make circular motions like this very, very lightly. And I'm trying not to move the color too much. And I just really, really want to blend that out. So I am going to be adding a little bit of color to my under eyes here. Just because I don't want it to look super dead. So I am just taking pretty much the same shades. First, I'm actually going to start with my gold shade though, right under the gold. And I feel like it doesn't really matter. So I'm just taking the same brush and dipping into the purplish shade and kind of placing that right where the purple is right under that and then i'm taking the shade benny which is the darkest shade i just dipped into that once and look how dark it looks you guys and i'm just putting that like right on the inner i mean right on the outer part of my eye so that is basically the eyeshadow complete you guys i hope you guys actually really really like this i love how it turned out i feel like the colors are all really really pigmented and i think it is worth your money honestly if you guys can get your hands on this palette i suggest you do so so i already do have highlight on i feel like you can't even see it though because i don't have a ring light or any light that basically helps all the colors shine or anything but i am going to be taking my normal brush and dipping into the color face which is this color here and he said it's the perfect highlight 
So I'm just dipping into that and adding a little bit of highlight. Oh well. It definitely makes a difference, you guys. So that is basically it for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in so you guys can see it better, but this is the final look. Super, super close up, you guys, of my eyeshadow. I just really want you guys to see the whole thing. I'm trying to look down so you guys can really see that. I can really, really say that I loved, loved, absolutely loved this eyeshadow palette. Um, I think, first of all, James did an amazing job with the color selection as well as the formula. Um, all of the colors that I did use today, I didn't use a lot of them, but I did use, let me count out actually, seven shades out of 39 shades are really, really nice. I know that the uh, other shades are going to be nice as well. I do want to do a few swatches, like I said. Um, if you guys want to see the whole eyeshadow palette swatch, then go ahead and head over to James Charles um, channel. He did go ahead and swatch all of the eyeshadows. And I'm sure you guys have probably already seen it, but I am going to go ahead and swatch. There has been a lot of controversy, controversy with the pink shade as far as it tinting the eyes. I don't have it on today, but the shade that's supposed to cause controversy or whatever and staining and all of that is this pink shade here um and this is the color skip so i will be swatching this one and excuse my hands are like all gross from me doing my makeup just now i do also really want to see how the red color looks and that's the shade you're kidding and what other shade i will also be swatching this purple shimmer shade and that's the shade artistry so i did just dip into the shades once and kind of like swirled them a little bit. Ooh, I got some on my palette already. But I am going to just put them on my arm here. And that is what they look like. I feel like this one, you need to give it a few layers, I feel like with the shimmer shades. Uh, same thing with the gold color that I put on my eye today. Um, but the pink one here is, why don't I do it like all sideways? The pink one here and the red ones are super pigmented. I don't even own a red eyeshadow, especially this pigmented, so I'm super, super excited for that, especially for Christmas, to mix that with like gold shades and I don't really know what else. But um, overall, I loved the palette. James did an amazing job, as well as the Morphe team to put this all together. And yeah, with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this look today. Let me know down below if I should create any other looks using the James Charles palette. Um, I did really want to swatch all of the colors, but like I said, James Charles already swatched all the colors for you guys on his YouTube channel and as well as Instagram. If you guys follow him on there, you guys might have seen it, um, but he did swatch all the colors. I do also feel like the lighting kind of has a lot to do with the shades, especially because I feel like my eyeshadow is a lot nicer than what it looks like on camera. It looks a lot nicer, I feel like, in person. I feel like it looks so professional. I'm not even a professional, but I feel like it looks professional, honestly, you guys. Before I forget, I do also want to uh, spritz my face with the Continuous Setting Spray by Morphe as well. Wow, that smells amazing, you guys. I love the setting spray, you guys. I feel like it really does set your whole face and it like melts the products into your face, which I love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed and turn on your post notification as well. If you guys don't already follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, be sure to do so. They're always linked down in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.